everyone, we're back here on GTTV. I've made my way to New York to hang out with a good friend of ours, uh, Mr. Shigeru Miyamoto, and of course his uh, his good friend who he whistled on to stage last year, Bill Trinan. You know him well from Nintendo Direct. Uh, Mr. Miyamoto, it's it's great to be with you on the show, uh, and, and we're wearing our hats because it, it is the, the year of yes. Luigi. Um, you've got your Luigi grin. I'm wearing Mr. Iwata's hat here. Uh, we, there's a lot of Luigi coming out from uh, Nintendo this year, so it's, it's finally time to uh, give Luigi the attention he deserves? Well, yes, it's been 30 years since Luigi first appeared in the original Mario Brothers, and we actually have a large number of Luigi fans internally at Nintendo who have been wanting to work on Luigi games. So we have, uh, of course, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, and a number of other titles that are all coming out this year, so we decided to make it the year of Luigi. Year of Luigi. Now you're also doing a uh, Luigi kind of downloadable content for uh, the uh, new Super Mario Brothers U as well, right? So it's next. That's right. So you can play a number of new levels through this new download downloadable content. Right. So Luigi, did he? Has he always had a special place in your heart? Ah, uh, how well, I guess you could say that, you know, he's sort of almost the same character as Mario, so he hasn't had as many opportunities to stand out on his own. And then we find out about Mario's other long-lost brother, or are there just two of them? <laughs> There's no others, just the two of them. You know, I don't know what types of games I'll make in the future. Perhaps there will come a day when Mario needs a third brother, and so at that point, maybe we'll, we'll create him. <laughs> It's exciting that you obviously have a, a brand new Luigi's uh, coming out for 3DS. It's not a Wii U game, but it's coming out for 3DS later this month. Uh, why did you want to come back to Luigi's Mansion, which I think you know all of us loved when it, it came out many years ago? Um, and this game's been in development for a long time. Why did you want to do it on, on 3DS and not on the Wii U? Mm. I know. Well, actually, when we first developed the GameCube game, one of the things that uh, that we really wanted to do in developing that game was see those visuals on a 3D screen. And at the time, we experimented with um, a 3D monitor and, and looking at the game in 3D. And that actually ties to how we eventually uh, got to release the Nintendo 3DS. So we felt that the connection between the two was, was pretty important. And we wanted to bring Luigi's Mansion uh, in a new version to Nintendo 3DS where those 3D visuals could really come to life. You're also, we can take our hats off now since we're also talking about Pikmin, uh, which you're working on. So how do you how do you split your time now? You're producing this, I know you're working on Pikmin. Uh, are those your two main sort of focuses right now? Well, so, uh, you know, with Luigi's Mansion, I've been working on that uh, pretty consistently over, over time. Um, but typically when I'm working on a project, I, I'll come in at the end and work very closely with the team on the project at the end of it. And so that's, that's what we're moving to in, in the Pikmin phase right now. Now, of course, the, the Pikmin 3 team, is uh, they're, they're very close to, to my desk, so I'm able to work very closely with them uh, uh, on a constant basis. We're excited to play, obviously, uh, Luigi's Mansion and Pikmin 3, and that's already been announced. You're going to have a lot of new games at E3 to uh, show the fans, which is uh, unexpected that you guys would tell us in advance that we're going to see a lot, a lot of new games. You're very busy right now working on things for E3? <laughs> So, so yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, you'll you'll get to see at E3 the games that Mr. Awada has already mentioned. Perhaps you'll get to see some that he hasn't mentioned yet. I uh, can't make any promises, but uh, at least you can look forward to getting your hands on on all these products at, at the show. Excellent. All right. Well, I'm sure you've got a lot of new surprises in store for us, right? Yes. Exactly. Please look forward to them. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Miyamoto. Great seeing you. Okay. Thank thanks. You. Hey, Internets, we got a video for you to see. With High Moon's Deadpool coming soon, the Merc with the Mouth is finally starring in a video game all of his own. In honor of this momentous occasion, Bait, certified stewards of sneakers, music, art, and collectible culture, are here to help you dive into a distinctive lifestyle with the Bait Red Ring Pack, which includes a Deadpool statue by MindStyle and a custom pair of Deadpool-flavored ASICs. Tonight, we're giving away two of these packs. So tweet us at GTTV Show for a chance to win and tell us why you wish you could be Deadpool for a day. Make sure to use the hashtag GTTV and for more on Bait's latest, check out baitme.com. Stick around because when we come back, our military experts from Saber Ops hit the range to test laser sights. And it's one cat fight you don't want to miss in a never before seen brawl from Injustice Gods Among Us. This kitty has claws. Yeah! 